Yo, what's popping, guys? It's your girl, Mijai, and this is Randoms again. Thank you. Thank you, guys, for your um, feedbacks, your comments, your vibe with my um, sessions. It's been beautiful. But today, I want to talk about something that has been troubling my heart. You know, what's with that guy? Who, 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 was, who was doing that on Jazzy guy, you know? No, why so? Why so? Uh, the funny thing is that this guy, you just be shouting, I'm single, I'm single, be tormenting single girls up and down the whole place. Why is he making me respect him so much? I mean, what's wrong with that guy? But we are not here to talk about Don Jazzy like that. Yes, my heart is doing tiddy no, no, no. That guy is a boss. A mentor that does not even know he's a mentor. Let me put it like that because, you know, he's just a free person. He plays a lot. He just vibes and dishes out. That's by the way. So for a very long time, I've been trying to get his attention. You know, I'll post a song on um instagram you know tag him on facebook tag him on instagram and i won't get you know any response and i'll be like okay so i even sent him a message on instagram of course he's a busy person he won't have to he won't get to open everybody's dm to be checking i'm beginning to imagine how many upcoming artists i've been reaching out to don jazzy but i didn't reach out to don jazzy as an upcoming artist so here's the thing i used to run a record label before i decided to start a record label I went online and I googled um, in the strongest record labels in Nigeria. I just wanted to see what it takes to, you know, run. I own a studio, of course, so I don't have money to sign artists, but then I give them a voice. I would record them free of charge, work on their songs, polish them, you know, try to get them to do videos, gigs, you know, sometimes take them for events if there are any, because I stay in Ibadan and, you know, getting gigs like that, especially for upcoming artists i have tried so much to get the attention of you no know, record labels out there you know online and i couldn't get any i just somehow i decided that okay a lot of other artists upcoming artists will be struggling with what i am struggling with let's not why not just come together and you know let's try to make this thing work so i thought that okay maybe that's it but along the line i realized that no that's not it so i went online on google and you know there are some really, really good record labels in Nigeria. But to stay relevant, you have to be the boss. You have to own that space, own that music space. And that's the one thing I realized about Don Jazzy and Mavins. Where he is now, he didn't just, you know, wake up one morning and become the boss. He built it from the scratch. And I really wanted to learn a lot from him. So the little thing I learned about record label management is that it's not just about signing artists and getting them to be on your record label. You have to put in the work you have to make sure that their songs are heard. You have to promote the shit out of it. You have to dress them up. Make, the, make sure they look the part. It's not just about the song, their voice. They have to look the part. They have to, you know, be able to represent anywhere. And <clears throat> um, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. That shit ain't easy. So when I say Don Jazzy and I say, why is he being all... I admire the fuck out of that guy. I realized that the one thing Don Jazzy does, apart from the team, the very strong team, by the way, I mean, I know how it feels to get to do these things by myself. I record my music, I mix and master it myself. I take videos myself. I just turn on the camera, try to record videos, get ideas out there by myself. I write the songs by myself. I edit it by myself. I, do, I literally do everything for my music by myself. So <laughs> when I say it's shitty, it is shitty. That's a lot of work. And um, why I admire Don Jazzy and Mavins so much is how, you know, he doesn't just leave the work to the team. He doesn't just leave the work to the artists. I mean, he does his part, all the things I mentioned that a record label needs to do. Apart from the huge amount of money you get to invest in artists, you know, to get them to look the part, be the part, represent the record label, you know, and not fumble or mess up. And, you know, you get to get them shows pay the managers to make sure they are properly managed, make sure they are trending, they are in line, they are in tune with, in sync with what is currently happening. And, you know, it's crazy. He doesn't just sit down and be the boss and let the team do the work. No, he still invests his time. On his social media, you see, he gets to post each and every artist, you know, vibe their music, you know, trend them, trend them. Like, that's... That's one thing that I haven't seen most of the other record label owners doing. And I'm like, okay, this is why this guy is so relevant in the music industry. Mavins is the number one music industry. 
in Nigeria. That's that's this is what I'm talking about. To stay relevant, you have to be relevant. I mean, I mean, everybody knows Mavens. Everybody knows Don Jazzy because apart from releasing content back to back, they Don Jazzy makes it relevant, makes it like this is my baby, this is my business, this is my life, this is um what I invested a lot of money in, so I need to get it to trend and I need to stay on top. When the um, uh, when they say the African giants are struggling for space or they are fighting to be recognized, of course nobody mentions. Uh, but if you go online and then check networks, you'll be like, "What the actual fuck is going on here? This nigger is fucking trending." But you know, you know, this is one of those low key niggers that I mean, just you know, capsule shits and I don't know, and they're just low key. And then they keep order, you know, when I hear the video, Bonaboy, Whiskey, and the fans are all over the place, capturing the place. Meanwhile, on Jersey, the underdog is, you know, doing his thing and hitting the mark, left, right, center, and just, man, checking all those papers and, you know, grabbing them papers. For real, though, that nigger. Apart from, I don't know how he gets to pick his artists. Of course, he goes online and... Of course, a lot of upcoming artists wants to be on Mavens, but I know he likes them young, but they are not all young. But the thing is, I haven't seen a bad artist on Mavens. I don't think I have. Every one of them, even if, okay, when they start, and you'll be like, okay, I don't really like this guy's song. I don't think I... Before you know it, it then becomes like mosquitoes in your ears, and then you are... All of, you are singing it all over the place, and you are like, okay. I thought I told myself I don't like this song, and... Uh, I've fallen in love with this song. That guy is a G. He's a motherfucker. That's the word I'm going to use. I'm sorry. No disrespect meant, Don Jazzy. I fucking admire you. I can fucking admire how you be, how you can get to be a record label boss and still bring yourself down to be an artist, to still vibe with the artist, to still, you know, stay relevant in the industry. And they don't just mention Mavens as per Mavens. It's a record label. They mentioned Don Jazzy as a person himself. I mean, how many record label owners are like that? I'm just saying, though. I respect the nigga. That's what I'm going to use. That's the word I've been trying to get out. Like, what I did with my record label, Major Music Group, was, you know, I picked them randomly. If I see that you have something good and I can work with it and, you know, I can get you out there in a way that I felt that I could. But you have to have artists that are willing to be heard. I mean, they had a passion for music. I could see it in them. I would record them. I would, you know, do everything for them, mix it, you know. And then when I started to see that they were beginning to be unserious, they wanted me to do all the work. So I said, okay, you know what? You have to pay for your release. I can't record you, hop, fine tune your lyrics, sometimes write your lyrics for you, you know, get you to sing, do short videos for you. And you won't get to post them on social media yourself. You won't get to post them everywhere yourself. You'll still be waiting for me to do all of that. Sometimes I do all of that and it's still not appreciated. Then I realized that, okay, I need to drop all this and, you know, focus on me. I didn't release an album for a very, very long time because, you know, I wanted to give other people opportunities to not be like me because at the point I was feeling like okay when they are exposed you know I can anyways let's not talk about me let's talk about how he gets his artists on Mavens like again I'm going to repeat I haven't seen a bad artist on Mavens his artists are all different Don Jazzy I don't understand how you get these artists every one of them artists Everybody has their own. The entertainers, they're just, you know, dishing it left, right, center. And you might want to talk about the African giant as much as you want. Shout online, go on Twitter, have a rant. But you see these people holding it down, keeping it real. And Don Jazzy being the crazy motherfucking underdog, cashing out all the papers, collecting all the cashes, while y'all are fighting out for space in the public. I don't get it, man. That's why I said this G, this... Don Jazzy, why are you like this? Motherfucker, why are you like this? I fucking love you. You have inspired me in a lot of ways that even you don't understand. That's why I say you're a mentor that you don't know that you're a mentor. And yes, I let every artist on my record label go because it was draining me. Maybe when I, you know, eventually get a good team and I have people around me that, you know, can actually manage all of these things. I get to record the artists, promote them, make sure they are in the limelight, you know, all of that. If I get good sponsors, of course. I have learned so much by reading up on Mavens online, you know, 
following trends, just monitoring Don Jazz's social media, you know, that's what you call an influencer. Because if you influence people and if you're an influencer and I cannot come to your page and learn one or two things and be influenced to want to do something like this or to want to, you know, create this kind of pattern for myself, then you are not an influencer. Of course, they are an inf you will just say you are a content produ producer or content disher that dishes content for people just to, you know, keep them afloat or, you know. But Don Jazzy does all of it. He gives us content. He influences, he actually influences people because pe a lot of people want to be signed. When they see Don Jazzy and they see the way he promotes his artists and they see the way he does his things and they see the way he just lives his life, Freely, without giving a fuck. He doesn't actually give a fuck. Kill yourself over who wants to be African giants. He doesn't give a fuck. Kill yourself about, okay, my music is the craziest, blah, 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 blah. He doesn't give a fuck. What he gives a fuck is releasing good music, Make sure, making sure his artist represents me, Vince, where they release very good music. They stay relevant in the music industry and they still remain number one on top without people even knowing it. They just crawl, pew, into the space. And that's why that nigger, <laughs> that motherfucking nigger, has stolen my heart. And when I say, guy, why are you like this? Why are you like this? I mean, why are you like this? So who knows? Maybe I might get to interview him, talk to him, meet him. I don't necessarily have to, but just meet him, you know, tell him how much he has influenced me and how much he means to me in person. But till then, I'm just going to say, motherfucker. I don't mean no disrespect, but when I say motherfucker, nigger, the jazzy, you be G. When I say that, I mean that from the very bottom of my heart. Anyways, this has been Mejai and this has been Randoms. And okay, if you like this video, please share it. I try to make this post not about mavens and not about, but you know, it's just what it is. When something is that good, you let it all out there so that people can understand where you're coming from and what you mean. So. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, it's been your girl, Mijai, and this has been Randoms. Till the next episode, stay with me. Peace out.